Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here, and I'm going to do another OBS video. This one is very cool, very, very cool. Pulse Effects is essentially a uh, mixer, effects uh, engine, all that kind of good stuff for OBS, for Pulse Audio. So if you use Pulse Audio on Ubuntu, um, then um, this will basically allow you to take things to the next level um, in terms of effects and in terms of basically, at least from the equalization standpoint, which is extremely useful. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, bring that a little bit over here and how to install it in Ubuntu 18.04. So there's instructions and it tells you all the kind of goodies you'll be able to get once you have this installed on your machine. Uh, now what I will be doing is um, I'm going to be trying to put pulse effects onto what you are listening to, which is my lav mic coming into OBS and therefore using it in conjunction. So uh, I'm going to put myself down to, let's see, I'm going to put myself on the top right hand side of the screen and pulse effects is hopefully it is actually locked so you've actually been if all has gone well you've been listening to me via pulse effects up until this point but this is what the toggle does so if i toggle that off i don't have pulse effects running um now there's much more to it than that this is a pretty beefy program um as as programs come for ubuntu so there's a lot of stuff to be digging through here uh, for instance, in the main menus, you have um, a start service at login, toggle, process all outputs, toggle, process all inputs, toggle. These are very, very important. Um, spectrum, show the spectrum, give it different colors, gradients, spectrum colors, spectrum type bars or lines, uh, pulse audio, very, very useful. So um, for the microphone, I'm locked in here to the my USB lab, which is exactly what I want. So that's good. And I can also set a latency here. Um, and the output's locked to my analog stereo and I can blacklist applications. So again, this is really bringing more application level control than you're getting in the default Pulse Audio um, yoke. Now, let me show you through the, so um, one kind of crucial thing not to miss, see here just on the top left of the screen where you have, so you wanna make sure that you're uh, you're editing the right input here. So like this is output and the microphone source will bring you over to input. And now you can see until I hit OBS, we're not gonna be getting, seeing exactly what's going on, but wait for the magic moment. Now, oh, look at that. All the uh, levels are moving, all the frequencies are moving. Uh, and now what you're listening to is being processed through pulse effects. So that's how easy it is, quite cool. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on actually and show you everything this thing can do. Uh, not everything. Now I haven't gone through a lot of it to tell you the truth, or I don't think I will use a lot of it. Nevertheless, the fact that it's there is very, very cool. Um, so let me just show you, highlight some of the standout features and you can listen to me sounding a little bit ridiculous at times. Multiband gate and gate. And I gotta be honest, I don't know what these do. I, um, uh, I do not use these. Um, now, you can apply audio filters in OBS Studio. And my guess would be that you probably shouldn't use audio filters when you're doing this. Now, what would be the advantage of this? I, the obvious one from the couple of uh, videos I've done so far. Well, if you're editing your filters in OBS Studio, go in, right click on audio source, edit filters, just keep this open extra OBS and so much easier to make these modular adjustments on the fly, right? WebRTC looks quite useful. So there's a few tools in this, starting here with the echo cancellation. So let me enable it now. So now you're listening to me with the echo cancellation turned on. Do I sound less echoey? Um, now you're listening to, to me with it turned off. My room is actually quite echoey. It's very, very much not treated for acoustics. So maybe that'll work. High pass filter on, high pass filter off. Uh, suppression level is on high, dialing down the suppression level to low noise suppressor, gain controller, compressor, and voice detector. Uh, you can look up what all these do online. I'm guessing this locks into my voice a little bit. So um, don't forget that if you leave them ticked, you're going to be um, keeping that, um, that effect applied. So I'm gonna actually untick this now. Um, and just verifying I'm going through OBS. Limiter is there too, so you can... Um, so this is me speaking without any limiting and I'm changing the trying to change the how loud I'm speaking to and I'm watching the level meter bounce about a bit on OBS. But let's see if I 
click on automatic leveling and let's see has that made any difference and now I click on automatic smoothing control and I'm now varying as much as I was almost but it looks to me as if the leveling is actually uh, becoming a bit smoother so that is quite cool and you've got all these different controls here again uh, beyond my pay grade I'm just looking at the basic things this thing, this thing can do you have a compressor multiband compressor um, filter and the equalizer so I'm going to look at the equalizer this is very important so um, multi-track equalizer I'm just going to push up the some of the bass levels here and uh, I should be getting a bit more bassy I'm guessing the um, getting the overall levels I can see some um, um, clicking happening and I was like where are the presets on this thing uh, so the presets on this thing are as follows and you can just play around with levels here input and output and changing all those um, reset presets are under presets so you click on the icon here and then click on presets and now let's have some fun okay and now I'm now speaking to you through the ballad the ballad preset do I sound like I'm recording a ballad uh, now we're on the dance preset in uh, pulse effects and recording this into OBS studio so let's see how that sounds uh, we have the uh, party effect going on now and let's see something that would be useful might be like the I'm not sure actually techno there's no voice or commentary or stuff like that more bass let's throw on more bass and see how that sounds do I sound more bassy okay so I'm gonna take off the equalizer uh, there is a um, deezer oh reverberation is always, is always fun to play around with so let me uh, throw on some reverberation and now I'm in a large room do I sound like I'm in a large room now I'm in a tunnel do I sound like I'm in the middle of a tunnel Here's the experimental feature and you can change other features here like treble cut, small uh, room size. Do I sound like I'm in a small room? Here's a medium room size and let's get out of this because this is the one I'm really excited about, pitch modulation. are all up and let's go the other way so here here you can uh, enjoy the last of me sounding in this weird voice and now I'm going to go to minus six semitones and now we should be sounding like my voice is deeper and all the way down to minus nine Um, stereo tools in stereo tools I can uh, let's see output channels let's mute the right channel here now I'm muting the right channel of the stereo feed so it should only be left channel coming through now I am muting the left channel so only right channel coming through and uh, finally we have maximizer so this is I think getting you as close to maximum levels as you can you can change here the um, the threshold and DBs the ceiling and the release in milliseconds so that's it, uh, lots and lots of interesting tools. And now what I'm gonna do is on OBS and I should have detached myself from OBS and now you're just sounding, you're just listening to the humble old uh, raw microphone or at least, you know, just being, being mixed here directly in OBS. So that's basically if you're using Ubuntu and you want to get a mixer um, and you want to use it in coordination with OBS, uh, Pulse Effects is the tool and I was just um, open that and then uh, you know just uh, tied attached it to the uh, the input application and make sure to hit the microphone so that you know you're editing the input levels thanks for watching if you'd like to get more videos feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel